Fannie Mae has agreed to suspend the eviction proceedings for at least the next couple days. We think that means through end of uh, Wednesday. We're also told, however, that through our friends in the court system that it looks like actually it's maybe postponed till Monday. Um, on the other hand, we do not yet have complete reassurance that the bailiff and the dumpster driver are on the same page as these public sources that also, by the way, include Fox News, which just had a nice uh, little report using the footage they shot here on Thursday of Jennifer and reporting on the very news I just gave here, and which I think just about everyone here has already heard. Um, this means that Fannie Mae blinked in our efforts, including the outstanding turnout we had here today. We must have had 50 people here by 7 o'clock. Uh, we had 15 out on the street and lots of folks here. And I think over 100 people here during the day, and a lot of people from the neighborhood and the community. So it's just been an outstanding effort uh, and capped by this wonderful barbecue and beautiful weather. So here's what we're asking people to do. Um, we're going to do a reduced vigil, but we're not going to give it up because there's enough reason to doubt uh, and operate on Murphy's Law. If something can go wrong, it yeah. will. Mm -hmm. So we people who signed up for a, and we had some people starting to sign up for tomorrow and the days after. If you signed up, please stick with us, especially tomorrow morning when we hope we'll be learning more news during the course of the day. Um, and otherwise, if you haven't signed up, keep your powder dry. We will keep you uh, updated. We will send more uh, news updates. I'm about to go home and send out this email blast. Um, we, we're hoping for good news, but we can't be certain of it. We think how, uh, Southwest Housing Solutions is going to make another offer. They've always been open to continuing negotiation. I've been reassured on that basis. We hope they're going to make another offer now in, in this context and that that would have a positive outcome. We are going to keep a skeleton crew here of at least two people at all times at either end with one car that can go to block the street and then with cell phones handy to hit the button to get the group texting and then set off a phone tree and cascading information. Um, folks from the neighborhood, supporters, other folks um, are certainly welcome to come by and keep us company. I get lonely if I'm left for very long in such circumstances. So um, a lot of us from the core group will be here and other folks from the neighborhood come on by, hang with us for a few minutes or as long as you feel like it. We just want to make sure until we have hard and solid information uh, that we can lower our guard or not lower it all together, but at least relax a little bit. So we're by no means done. Uh, there's a lot to do, and we've got to persuade Fannie Mae to do the right thing. They said they would open her file and revisit it. Well, they know what's in the file. <laughs> they know what's in the file. So we, we're, we hope it's not a perfunctory sort of going through the motions and then they re recommence the eviction proceedings. We hope they've been persuaded by the really effective pressure people have brought here. And I, I really, it's all, I'm, I'm looking at a lot of faces, people have done the work and it's really been outstanding. The phone calls, the, the demonstrations, the vigil, uh, it's what got all of our political leadership going and doing the right thing. And so it looks like at least we've taken a huge, giant, positive step. So give yourself a yeah. round of applause.